y'all welcome back to my youtube channel today is saturday august 15th and today i am going to be recording a vlog so we're going to start off today's video with something exciting we're going to do an amazon activewear try on haul i picked up some awesome things from amazon and they're really great so i wanted to go ahead and share them with y'all so let's do an amazon activewear haul Woo! Let's do it, y'all. Why, yes, I am filming this haul underneath my carport, but it is the best lighting I can find, so bear with me. Everything I try on today is gonna be linked down below in the description, so you can click the link and check it out if you're interested. All right, so the first thing we're trying on today are these biker shorts. Biker shorts are all the rage right now, and I decided to pick up some for myself because your girl is going on walks nearly every single day with my parents and wearing short shorts like these. I don't know if you saw that. Hold on, let's do it but again. Like these. Did you see them? They're like spandex Nike shorts, three inch shorts. Well, when I wear spandex shorts like these when I go on a walk, these big old thunder thighs rub together and it is not comfortable at all. So instead of wearing leggings when it's still like 90 degrees outside, I decided to pick some of these up and it should do the trick. I can wear these when I work out. Let's try them on. All right, y'all, these are the first pair I picked up. I just grabbed a basic black pair of biker shorts because black goes with everything. This fabric is thick and soft. And I'm probably gonna order these in some other colors because I really like this. And it's got pockets. Super cute. Up next, I picked up these animal print biker shorts. They are super cute. I love the high waist that kind of keeps you tucked in. But I really like these. They're cute. I'll definitely be ordering more of these. Why have I not discovered biker shorts sooner? This is the last pair of shorts I picked up. These are basically like either lounge or athletic shorts. The material is super lightweight. It's vented on the sides. And I definitely really like these. They're like a cheaper alternative for the Under Armour shorts that I really, really like. Up next, I've got a couple of sports bras to show y'all. And by the way, I have a pretty large chest, so I'm always looking for something that is cute but supportive as well. And I think both of these tick those boxes, which is awesome. So the first one is this sports bra from Running Girl. And it's kind of longer than a normal sports bra, which I really like. And look at the back, look at how cute it is. I love the little strappy details. But I also love just how thick these straps are. It makes you feel very supported and not like they're gonna like rip off. <laughs> All right, y'all, here is the next sports bra and I absolutely love this one. Check out the back. Oh, is that not so cute? absolutely love this man these are some great finds i'm gonna be ordering all of these in different colors and the final thing i have for you in this amazon try on haul is this super adorable workout tank i don't know if you can see the fabric but it's kind of like this ribbed material and it is just like a simple plain workout tank it's kind of fitted i have a large on it and it has a little bit of room because i don't like my stuff super form fitting but i've got to say this is super adorable just a simple back simple plain colored top absolutely love it i have to say everything i tried on today in this amazon haul was definitely a hit i recommend everything these pieces are awesome and they're affordable i thought i'd share because i just wanted to add a couple of cute pieces to my athletic wear wardrobe and I have to say, I've found some good ones. So there's that. I hope that you enjoyed this Amazon activewear try on haul. Let me know down below if you want to see them again. Remember, I linked everything down below as well. But for now, it is really hot out here. So let's go inside and start the rest of our day. All right, time to get the day started with a cup of coffee. Even though I'm hot and sweaty from filming that try on haul outside, all I have is hot coffee and it is what it is. We're just going to deal with it. Got my coffee that smells like vanilla. It is amazing. A little splash of heavy cream and some stevia, as always. Quick stir. Now, let's start our day. 
I think it's so adorable. Cooper loves to come lay out here and sunbathe on the top of our sewage system, but it's his favorite thing. When I can't find him, I look out the window in our laundry room and he's always just over here relaxing in the sun. What a cute little baby he is. Look at this cutie. Eating the grass as he lays there. Gets his tan on. <laughs> I love that dog so much. He's so cute. All right, y'all. So it is lunchtime and I am partnering with Green Chef today to make one of their keto meals. So I haven't seen my mom in a couple hey, of days. Everybody. So I decided to come over to her house and we could make a keto meal together. So let's get to cooking. Before we hop in, I wanted to tell you what Green Chef is if you don't know what it is. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that makes eating well, easy, and affordable, and they have plans to fit just about every lifestyle. Obviously today we're making a keto meal, but they have plant powered, paleo, balanced living, and even family. So without further ado, let's hop into cooking. So Jamie actually asked for the Monterey Jack beef patties as the recipe to make this morning. And then when you flip them over, they have all the instructions laid out for you with pictures. So even if you don't cook, you can make this recipe. All of the ingredients come pre-portioned and mostly prepped. What we have to do is cut up a few veggies and then we're gonna be ready to start cooking. We're gonna start throwing together the spicy ginger slaw. We've got cabbage, putting in half of the cilantro we chopped up. Some of this spicy garlic lime aioli. They always have the best aiolis in these boxes. And a little bit of olive oil. Mix that up and we got our slaw, y'all. And the pepitas, I think we Oh yeah, yeah. and these two. Add about, um, do we add all the pepitas? Yep, all of them. Oh, cool. Oh, this would be crunchy. That would be delicious. Mm -hmm. Time to season and make the burger patties. Now we're going to mix them up and form it into two patties. You don't have to do this with your hands if you don't want to. If you are doing it with your hands, wash them really good. But um, I, you know what? I, I don't think a spoon mixes everything up as good as my hands do. But that's, you know, I'm old school. Ooh. We're gonna sear the hamburger patties on both sides. We have a needy Barney who really wants to be a part of the cooking experience too. Got our Monterey Jack topped burgers. And now they're going in the oven. In the broiler. broiler. Six inches from the broiler. Now if y'all seen me cook before, you know I like the yummy goodness from the bottom of the pan. So I am adding a little extra olive oil to the same pan that has a few little extra onions from where I seared, seared those patties. And this is how we're gonna cook the zucchini. So we're gonna now add the zucchini to the same pan that we use for cooking the hamburger patties or the burger patties. And just let them saute. So while we're making the video, uh-oh, there we go. <laughs> While we're making the video, um, we realized my dog had a, a grooming appointment. So her daddy took the dog and we have his plate. He's ready to walk in any minute. We have his plate ready to go. We use the extra oily sauce and, and spread it over the meat. We got the zucchini. We got the, um, the slaw, it's delicious. I'm gonna sprinkle a few pieces of cilantro on top of everything and we are ready to eat. He's gonna be so excited. I had so much fun cooking with my mom and our meal was absolutely delicious. If you're interested in giving Green Chef a try, you can go to greenchef.us slash 80 Catherine and you can get $80 off of your first month plus free shipping on your first box. I will leave that link down below in the description. So feel free to check it out if you're interested. Y'all, I'm watering my parents' trees. And look at this dog. She loves to chase the water. That is too funny. This dog is hilarious. She's just having the time of her life. 
we are running to Walmart real quickly. We have been cleaning up the house. We got all of our laundry put away. But I really want to get some of those little plastic bins that have like the three drawers. They're not very pretty, but I have so many swimsuits that they're just like in a pile on top of my dresser. And it is bothering me so much. So I'm just going to go to Walmart and get some of those cheap drawers just as like a temporary solution to like clean up my space a little bit. But maybe I'll find a more permanent solution one of these days. But this will do the trick for now. Woo! We're at the Wally World! Are y'all's Walmarts doing this? Like they're closing one entrance where you can't go and they're only keeping one open? I really don't understand that, how that, you know, prevents COVID from happening. But it's just kind of annoying. Alright, we're going to park. Alright y'all, we are shopping at Walmart. I got this really great deal on some socks. It's like 10 bucks for 10 pairs got my hangers that we needed some extra of got my drawer and a bunch of pool noodles i'll show you what i'm gonna do with those when we get home and a couple other clearance items that we found we just got back from walmart and my tacky little plastic drawers actually worked perfectly i can fit all of my swimsuits in here and it just kind of gives them a place to, you know, hang out instead of on top of my dresser. But I just have too many swimsuits. But we go fishing every day almost and I wear swimsuit every day. But yeah, now I have somewhere to store them all. Y'all are going to have to ignore the dust that is flying in front of my camera. But I bought the pool noodles and that is to help tackle this cowboy boot situation. So I have a ton of cowboy boots, but a lot of these boots, they don't stand up straight. They just kind of flop over. So I got the pool noodles. We're gonna cut them down and shove them inside the boot. And maybe I can organize this a little bit better so I can actually see the boots I have and not just be one big pile of boots. All right, so this worked perfectly. So all I'm using is a serrated knife some pool noodles that I bought on sale at Walmart and I cut it down and look at that. We got a boot that stands up and is going to hold its shape. Perfect. Now only like, you know, 30 more pairs to go. All right, let's do this thing, y'all. I don't know why I haven't done this sooner, but 20 minutes of work and I can actually see every pair of boots I own in my closet and they're all standing up. How cool is that? Now I actually can reach in and pick out a pair of boots. How neat is that? Pool noodles, y'all, they're on sale at Walmart. So if you got some boots, this works with like the zip up, like winter boots as well. 10 out of 10 would recommend this DIY. For dinner tonight, we decided that we're just going to do some leftovers. So we had some leftover grilled squash, a little bit of leftover pulled pork from our smoker the other day. So I figured that was a quick and easy dinner. I've got some sugar-free barbecue sauce to pour over the meat. And that is going to be my dinner. Quick and easy and getting some of the leftovers out of the fridge before they go bad. Yum. We had intentions to go on a walk after dinner, but we got to my parents' house and my aunt's family was over there, so we ended up having a little bit of a chit-chat family night by the pool instead. It is the next day now, y'all, but I just had to share something that I am really excited about that just happened. We just got ourselves an elliptical. One of my family members offered to give it to us and I jumped at the chance because I am going to get a ton of use out of this thing. Oh, I'm so excited, y'all. We got an elliptical to have at the house. But I just had to share that with y'all because it is very exciting to have the house now. Yay! We've got to find it a more permanent place than under our carport. But this thing weighs like a million pounds. So it is what it is for now. It's sitting here. Hey, guys. So I just wanted to hop on here to close out the video today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another one. Bye, guys. Mwah!